for fun of Damn rock crab. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Yes. Right. Come on. Just a few more. And then we've done it. Done it! Yes! Yes! Take this! I'll teach you to keep me here for days trying to train. Oh man. Well met, travellers. Back to RuneScape. Oh my goodness, I'm hitting 13s. Oh my god. Check it out. Finally. I have been here. Literally hours, hours and hours, training up my attack and my strength, all to wield this magical granite mole. And now, I can finally do it. <sighs> what a ride! Well, I've got a few plans for today, and I want to start, obviously, after I've shown off the amazing granite mole. Uh, I'm thinking perhaps we should. Do some questing. Uh, what? I also want to go through Keldergrim because it's quite a quick way to get to uh, the bank from Arelica. Might as well show you Keldergrim while I walk and talk. Now, you may notice that I've not got a helmet on, and that's because I died while fighting the rock crabs. It was a strange plant. I got poisoned by it, it wasn't very nice. Um, right, so which quest am I going to do? Or fault, or would do? Where is it? I believe it's called Recruitment Drive. I haven't started it yet. It's quite easy. I can start this quest by speaking to Ceramic Vars. Yes, really, that's his name. Like all the White Knights, they have ridiculous names that if you say them in a particular way, they sound kind of amusing, like Ceramic Vars. A vase made of ceramic. Upstairs in Falador Castle. So, I know that I need 3,000 coins in order to do the quest. Um, won't let you do it unless you're a female, which is a bit weird. I can't remember why that is, but it is it is what it is, so I'm going to have to... Oh, what did you do that for? I don't know. Um, that guy's questioning my recording ability. Fantastic. So here we go. I'm just nip into the bank and get some coinage. I also want to bring some extra because, well, you'll find out. Um, I've, I'm low on coins, and that's because I had to buy an adamant scimitar because they're much better for uh, training, you see. Just get 3,000 out. Cheers. Uh, adamant scimitar. The scimitar in general is quite a quick weapon, so it's best for training. If you're going to train, then use a scimitar. I've got two scimitars, actually. I had to spend most of my money on that. Piece of flipping junk. Actually, it's not too bad. Another thing is that I've got a new cat. Reason being, I died, I lost my cat, my cat abandoned me. Which is a big shame, but um, I've got another one now. I've also got three discs of returning. These are relevant, and because, because they're quite rare, they demand quite a high price on Zybers, I've noticed. I uh, managed to sell a few f to a guy for 20 grand each, so... Yeah, that's how much they are. That's how I managed to afford me uh, Granite Mall. I've actually picked up a few tidbits that um, I'm able to sell. I've got fair amounts on Zybez that I can uh, sell them for. For example, these little uncut sapphires, which are actually worth more on Zybez than the cut ones. I think it's because they offer a bit like craft and XP. They're not worth much, like a thousand each, if you're lucky. But, you know, it's not. And for seven, well, it's a good bit of money, isn't it? Isn't it? Also, oyster pearls are worth like 500 each, so I thought I'd pick up a few of them from the rock crabs. Uh, these iron pickaxes, I thought I'd pick up a few of these to uh, give out to noobs, should I see one. 
Um, they drop for free from Rock Cramps, so I'm not really losing anything. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I found a clue scroll. I've actually done one of these before, but I lost all the rewards because I lied. I'm a bit of an idiot. But it was only a black pickaxe and uh, some runes, so I'm not really too bothered. Now, let's just have a look. I think I know where this is. This is on the River Lum somewhere. But we'll do that later. What I want to do now... Oh, actually, I think I need some more coins. I'll take out 150. I think I need this. Oh, actually... You know what? There's actually a free way to get back to, um... Falador. And I will tell you what it is by using the disk of returning. If I activate that... Crap. Okay, forget that. I thought I could go straight to the uh, black hole. Um, these are from the Midsummer's event thing. Where they gave you confusing riddles and asked you to do stuff with them. I don't know. I, I got a few things, but the rewards just didn't seem worth it. I'll show you what the reward was. Druid Grief, yes. Not very exciting. Um, so, um, right, I'll best make my way over to Falador then, get some coins. Um, I also need a new helmet, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing this quest, because you actually get a free helmet that's equivalent to Mithril, but also has a little bit of a prayer bonus. I'm not sure what that means exactly, but it's worth having, because it's free. And it's also white. I wish I could show you a picture. If, oh, actually, I might as well splice one in while I'm here. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a white knight in the shirt armour, which has got a funny name, um, and it's all equivalent to mithril armour, so uh, it's it's pretty decent stuff, and it's quite unique as well. In fact, if I take my uh, armour off, you'll see that I've changed my clothes into something a bit more Duke Nukem-esque. Of course, the uh, sleeves are the closest I could get, they wouldn't let me have it without the stupid shoulder pads. It makes me look a bit like I'm in the 80s. Whatever. I'll get the cat out when I've got some fish. I don't want to risk losing another cat. Please take me. This is free. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way, yeah? <laughs> Come on, dwarven boatman. I want to go back to Caldagrim. What I really need to be doing is taking the minecarts back to... the dwarven mines. And then I can go from the Dwarven Mine straight into Falador, so that's the best way. Um, I'll get into the minecart just to show you how it works, and then uh, I'll see you when I'm up near Ceramic Vars. Here we go. I think they're this way. They're right down in the uh, southeastern corner. This is actually, I'm just passing this building here. This is where the Blast Furnace minigame is. I haven't played it yet, not because my um, mining levels aren't really high enough. These are awkward as heck, you can't walk over the railroads. Don't know why, because it's like the trains aren't even moving. If I get into here... Ugh. I get a ticket? Can I, uh, cheers a ticket, please? Oh, I... I would like to go to the Ice Mountain. Yeah, that's right. That's the Dwarven Mines. Get a ticket. Pointless. They could just take the money off you when you get into the cart, but whatever. White Wolf Mountain from track 4. How is that moving? <laughs> right, and here we go. In the Dwarven Mines. Quite like it here. It's a good place to train your mining at low levels. And actually at fairly high levels as well, because uh, there's all sorts of stuff down here. And I'm going to be passing by some of it. Because... Uh, let me just try and remember how to get out of this bit. Oh yeah, it's this way. I'll run because it's quicker. Um, oh, hello. Um, you didn't give me out. That's happened a few times. I've had that guy give me some mysterious boxes. You know, the ones where you have to guess what numbers in the shape and all that. But they haven't given me any rewards, which is a bit strange. Anyway, Dwarven Mines. You can see there are some scorpions, which aren't really a problem. I'm going to go beat one up because um, why not? I just want to show off me cool maul. Come here. Smack you. Oh, I'm taking hits. Mithril armor's not the best. Oh, look at that. 13. Man. Oh, yeah. I love this thing. Oh. That, that ordeal in the rock crabs was worth it. What a great weapon. So I've got some coal here. 
Coal is always very useful to make. Well, I think you need coal for pretty much everything, and if you use the blast furnace, then it costs half the coal to make stuff. Adamant, I think, needs four coal per ingot. We've got adamant, we've got mithril, we've got some iron down here. I think this is that rune down there as well? Probably not, actually. There's only a few places you can get rune. Um, there's a dwarf there. I don't know. I don't know what his game is, but these these scorpions don't even care, do they? Oh, this king scorpion wants a piece of me now. You want some? Come get some. And we also have. Wait for it. Bam! Special attack on the granite maulers to smack them really quickly, which does you a little bit of extra damage. Nice. Not sure how to recharge it though. Oh well, maybe it'll recharge on its own. And down there is, I think this cave leads to the mother load mine. I haven't been down there yet, though. I need, I need to be at least level 40 to actually get anything out of it. Currently, I'm level 37. Haven't done any mining for a while. Right, let's go and find ceramic bars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did I not set out with 3,150? Why have I got more money than what I started with? Oh well. I won't complain. Okay, so I've got me three grand. Falador Castle. The White Knights Castle. Castle of White Knights. Probably beat them all up right here right now, but I uh, don't really have the armor for it actually. There's an imp there just chilling. The ceramic vase is this way, I believe. Yep, but oh. Uh, there's some there's a corpse in the prison. You know, these guys are supposed to be against evil. I would say that's pretty evil, keeping a guy in there until he dies. Starving people, it's not a nice thing to do. Up this ladder, I hope. This place is actually a maze. Oh, come on. Okay, that's completely, completely useless. What good is that flipping ladder there? Ah, oh, it's least to nowhere. What a waste of my time. They don't make this place easy to get around, for goodness sake. He's got a bit of a weird shield as uh, Mr. Vars there. Looks like a wooden shield painted white. Is that the best he could do? Hello, ceramic. Hello, friend. Do you have any other quests for me to do? We look the same. <laughs> quests, eh? Well, I don't have anything on the go at the moment, but there is an organisation that is always looking for capable adventurers to assist them. Your excellent work sorting out those black knights mean I will happily write you a letter of recommendation. Would you like me to put your name forward to them? Oh, ah, yeah. Cheers. Sure thing, Ceramic. Sign me up. Um, well, well, this is embarrassing. I already have put you forward as a potential member. What if I said no, then? That would have been amusing. They are called the Temple Knights, and you are to meet certification. Yes, that's really how it's pronounced. At, in Falador Park for testing immediately. Okie dokie. Right, good. So we've got to meet certification. Certification. C -c 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 Certification. Yes. I think he's literally just a guy who's sat on a bench. You know, like that song called Defecting Grey. I don't know who it's by. Actually, it might be by Defecting Grey. I'm not sure. Goes uh, something along the lines of sitting alone on a bench with you. You know? Probably haven't heard it. That's because I'm such a hipster. Uh. Um, it's an old 60s psychedelic rock song. I don't think it's massively well known. But you never know. Let's smack this guard around. What am I, why am I smacking a guard around? I'm supposed to be meeting this chappy. Why am I? He's doing a lot of damage to me. He's doing more damage to me than I am to him. Take this. Oh wow. Done the right number on him. Poor chap. 
whacked him with a big slab of stone and a stick away. I just leveled up in defense. How about that? And let's bury that bone. Hmm. Don't know why it increases your prayer when it's mm, just murdered a guy in cold blood. Burying his bones is not going to atone you, is it? Okay, let's go and find certification. I think he's the guy that's next to the quest marker. Because he has two quests for you, I think. There he is. Look at him sat on the bench. What's he even doing? He's got a He's got a cup of coffee. Yes. Yeah, Sonic Vaz sent me to meet you here for some sort of testing. Ah, oh, Bidsworth J. <laughs> Amic told me all about you, don't you know? Spiffing job you did with your Black Knights. They're absolutely first class. Uh, thanks, I think. <laughs> well, a top notch fellow like yourself is just the right sort we've been looking for for our organization. So, are you ready to begin testing? What? Tasting? Oh, jolly bad show. Vaz was supposed to have informed you about all this before sending you here. Well, it's not your fault, I suppose. What? Anywho, our organization is looking for a certain specific type of person to join. So you want me to kill some monster or something for you? Eh, is that it? Oh, not at all, old bean. There's plenty of worries around. Show me to require dumb muscle. That's really not the kind of thing our organization is after, what? So you want me to go and fetch you some kind of common item and then take it for delivery somewhere on the other side of the country? Wow. <laughs> they basically explained the whole... If they knew about the issue of the quest being very much like this, why did they put so many quests in that are just like this? Because I really hate doing that. Proper hate it, you know? <laughs> what a dull thing to ask of someone, what? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know what you mean there. I did my fair share of running errands when I was a young adventurer myself. So what exactly will this test consist of? Oh, can't just let any old riffraff in, what? The mindless thugs and bully boys are best left in the white knights of the guards. We look for the top shelf brains to join us. So you want me to test my brains? Will it hurt? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> don't think my guy's quite intelligent enough for this. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, you old sausage, you. Oh, not in the slightest. Well, well, well may maybe a bit. But we all have to make sacrifices occasionally. What? Why do they always say what at the end of everything? Is this guy... This guy doesn't know what he's on about, does he? What do you want me to do, then? It's a test of wits, what? It'll take you to our... Oh, I'll take you to our secret training ground and you'll have to pass through a series of five separate intelligence tests to prove you're our sort of adventurer. Standard puzzle room rules will apply. <laughs> what are standard puzzle room rules? This is a very lengthy um, conversation we're having here. It's just sat here on a bench. I'm expected to stand around. I'm not even sitting on the bench with him. Anyway. <clears> oh, <throat> never done this sort of thing before, what? Oh, the simple rules are no items or equipment to be brought, will you? Ahem. <clears throat> Each room is a self-contained puzzle and you may quit at any time. Of course, if you quit a room, then all your progress up to this point will be cleared and you'll have to start again from scratch. Our organisation managed to filter all the top-notch adventurers this way. So, are you ready to go? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, bad luck, old boy. You'll need to have a completely empty inventory and you can't be wearing any equipment before you accurately test you. Don't want people cheating by smuggling stuff in, what? Come back and see me after you've been to the old bank to drop your stuff off, eh? Jolly good show, old bean. Fortunately, the bank's just over here. My jaw kind of hurts. I had, to, I had to grimace a little bit, shall we say. Oh, no, bank's to the way, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. Just, uh... Nice in direction, showing its true colours there. How about that? Hmm. It's like when I was in. So I need to deposit my coins. I'll put my cat with my coins because he's a very special cat. So I'm going to put my clue scroll with my cat with my coins. They all begin with. They all begin with C, not key. No. <laughs> uh, all right, Mister Posh Nuts. Let's, let's see. Hmm. I'd rather take a twist on. Wow. <laughs> All this posh talk is making me a bit tongue tied. I forgot to put away my equipment. What a dummy. I'm Duke Nukem. Actually. Well, I'm here. I'm just going to pop to the uh, hairdressers, you know. Standard sort of thing, you know. I'll put my equipment in the proper place for it, you know. 
necklaces, I think they go in the uh, armour. Capes, 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 capes go in the capes bit. Got a very organised bank, don't you know? Ugh. You know what, actually, that just that guy just reminds me of Game Chap, which may or may not be a good thing, depending on what you think of that man. Personally, I'm not a huge fan. Um, you know, just mentioning him might be a bad idea. But, whatever. Um, into the hairdressers. I want to uh, do something a bit silly. Oh, you have to pay another for a shave. Right. Oh no! My god. There is no, like, square topped, flat top cut, is there? Hmm. Which one's closest to Duke? Uh, not sure actually. Guess that one. Yeah, that one. Confirm. Right, now I'm Duke with a beard. There we go, now I look a bit more like Duke Nukem. Hooray! That's good. Duke Nukem. Damn, I'm looking good. I haven't quite got the right hairstyle, but everything else seems to be in shape, which is good. Sort of a more medieval style Duke Nukem. Would he be would he be called Duke Nukem then or would he be called uh <laughs> The Duke of the Nukem Estate. Amazing. Right. Showing first send me to turn the blah blah blah. Alright. Um I like how I call beards with I don't have a beard anymore. Let's go. Here we go, mind your head! Oh, if not the smell nearly there, and here we are. Best of luck. 